this is a great privilege of mine to uh, introduce somebody that I've known for a very long time. A long time ago, when my first elected position as um, a school board member, the school superintendent, we were in a very contentious contract negotiations with the teachers union. And it was, I was just a young kid at the time, not as young as 19 and, or 18 and being the mayor of Tivoli, but still young. And, uh, and, it was, and as I said, it was really contentious and, and there was a lot going on. And the superintendent of schools said something to me. He said, you know, you have a good brain and you should use it. But more importantly, you should listen to your heart. And that has carried me through my entire career as a, a public official. And I look to Mark Molinaro and thinking, how does anybody do it better than he does? His heart is always in the right spot, and he thinks through every situation. You think about the things that he's accomplished as a leader of Dutchess County, stabilization center, think differently, the uh, homeless shelter, Things that don't normally think of a Republican county exec, but because it came from the heart, he did it and used his mind to make it happen by nine years of lower taxes, eight years of lower tax levy. That's an accomplishment. That's someone that we will miss in Dutchess County. That's someone that taught us a lot of how to be a leader. And I, I look back at the times that we've, when I was town supervisor for 12 years and down in the legislature, going to him for counsel on problems, and we basically said the same thing. You have, a, you have a brain and a heart, and somehow you have to mesh them together. So the person that does it absolutely better than anybody, my friend, Marcus Monero. The county executive of Dutchess County. Usually it's Greg Pulver who cries at the podium. <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, joining us uh, and being here this morning uh, to uh, Chairman uh, Greg Pulver. Um, it is fair to say that uh, he and I have been uh, friends uh, perhaps uh, longer than, than any two still serving in, in, in county government, uh, except perhaps uh, me and uh, uh, County Clerk Brad Kendall. Um, I'm obviously going off script and will tell you that uh, um, I served here uh, when Brad uh, Kendall served as chairman and learned a lot here. Um, we are, um, I think as a community, blessed to have so many dedicated uh, public officials. Um, but the work that we did those years ago, uh, very few people are more dutiful in their service uh, than uh, Brad uh, Kendall. And I, I say that uh, also because as, as Brad served as chairman of this body, I, I learned from him. And I'd like to think that over the course of the last several years uh, with my friend Greg Pulver as chairman of the legislature, we've learned a lot together and replicated some of those lessons. So to both of you, uh, I'm tremendously grateful. And to all of you, I'm very thankful um, you're here. Uh, my uh, uh, children were hoping for a snow day. Um, <laughs> I'd like to think it was because they wanted to be here to listen to my speech. Uh, it is highly unlikely that is true. Uh, and uh, if all things are going well, um, uh, the person who I just rely on the most and love uh, deeply, my wife Corinne, 
uh, is uh, watching this on, on live stream. I, I tell people, um, and, and she doesn't like when I say anything about it, let alone this, but uh, uh, I married a superhero um, who somehow has, over the course of these last few years, been able to manage me, <laughs> uh, family, uh, raise our children, uh, and still um, keep it all together for all of us. And so I'd ask you, if you don't mind, uh, I think she'll listen. Uh, would you join me in extending my love and appreciation uh, to my family? Thank you. Uh, 28 years ago, uh, just a teenager in Tivoli, uh, I raised my right hand, and for the first time I took uh, an oath uh, to uphold, protect, and defend the laws and constitution of the state of New York and the laws and constitution of the United States. Uh, a constitution, by the way, ratified in Poughkeepsie at the county courthouse just next door. Now, these days I often recall how I felt then, and the excitement, the uncertainty, and the enthusiasm and how these years of holding elected office have shaped and defined my love of public service. 28 years and 16 oaths of office later, you will find no one more grateful for this community and its people than me. A product of three local school districts and graduate from our county's academic jewel, Dutchess Community College, I met my wife, Corinne, at a John Flowers celebration. <laughs> we fell in love at a great Dutchess County Park, Dutchess Stadium, and we continue to raise our family in the corner of Dutchess uh, that raised me. Dutchess County is, by every estimate, a special place. Having traveled extensively throughout New York State, I know this firsthand. For my entire adult life, I've had the honor of representing and serving the people of this great community. First as a village trustee, mayor, and county legislator, then as state assemblyman, and for the last 11 years, this entire community as your county executive. We've laughed together, cried together, we've triumphed in one another's joys and mourned each other's sorrows. We've learned, grown, innovated and thrived together. We have repeatedly reached across the aisle, across the state, and across America to improve the life of our community and the lives of those who call it home. Make no mistake, our collaborative approach has made an immeasurable impact on the lives of countless county residents. It has literally saved lives helped to rebuild communities. And as I leave this office, I trust that this sense of cooperation and understanding will long prevail. It is truly a testament to all of you that we achieved so much by working together, learning from and caring for one another at a time when our nation is so divided. Tackling the big problems too often feels hopelessly beyond the capacity, the reach, of state and federal government, even addressing the day-to-day -day responsibilities of providing the most basic essential services seems outside the grasp of a government too often outdated, outmoded, and uncaring. These failures have real consequences and continue to erode the public's overall confidence in government. It has led to people working around a broken system but for the last 11 years, the last 11 years, we have made it our mission to ensure Duchess is responsive, responsible, effective, and efficient. When anger and hate have threatened to undo us, we have met it with calls for unity and love. When those most vulnerable were struggling too hard and knocked on our door, we opened our homes with compassion and care. And when these dizzying times have asked us to ignore reason and respect, we responded with focus, logic, inclusion, and fairness.
Together, we turned budget challenges and a recession-fueled quagmire into the strongest fiscal foundation of any county in New York. Oof. Provided meaningful relief cutting county taxes to the lowest in 14 years. And we've made government smaller, smarter, and more effective. Those with mental illness are too often tossed on the streets by their very government. We then wonder why we are faced with increasing acts of random violence and desperation. Not in Dutchess County. In Dutchess County, we built a national model of community-based mental health services with the broadest network of any county in America. Acknowledging the soft and quiet prejudice of low expectations, we asked each other and the world to think differently. And in so doing, we change the culture and attitude toward those with different abilities. We've embraced their neighbors with physical, intellectual, and developmental disabilities. Remember, it was us. It was us who built a place that recognizes the humanity in everyone of every ability. Over my tenure, we expanded care for our parents and grandparents, celebrated the sacrifice and service of servicemen, women, and veterans, and we are transforming the lives of our kids with innovative new programming in a state-of-the-art <coughs> countywide youth center in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Together, we funded our police and stood with victims, empowered not-for-profits and partnered with farmers and small businesses. Through our collaboration with supervisors, mayors, and local leaders, we have been rebuilding our economy, revitalizing our communities, and making government work for you, rather than making you work to serve it. We protected open space and farmland and led the, the fight to protect water quality and the Hudson River. We preserved our rich history while putting us on the map, making us a popular destination for countless visitors and tourists around the world. We supported those who, with bright colors and boldness, tell, write, paint, and perform the story of who we are and how we hope to live. I am immensely grateful and proud of what we have accomplished together. I'm grateful for the lasting challenge we have delivered, the lasting change we have delivered for our residents, both today and years into the future. And though I stand alone at this podium, I am well aware that nothing we have achieved is the work of any one individual. I've had the good fortune to have been part of an amazing team, smart, skilled, caring professionals who accepted the challenge of working for this community, and they have flourished. Through storms and celebrations, opposition and opportunity, my senior staff has admirably risen to the challenge. And each of you, the men and women who have worked with me closely these last 11 years have my unyielding respect and admiration. More than simply the sixth floor, as many refer to us, we are a family. And I will miss each of you and your contributions more than you will ever know. No problem we solved, no challenge we met, no bridge built, no program developed was accomplished by one mind, nor one set of hands. Dutchess County is blessed to have over 1,800 devoted men and women whose daily work serves, protects, and provides for the countless needs of the nearly 300,000 people who call Dutchess County home. At all hours, every day, including today, County government employees work to make our community better and safer. Please know this. To the men and women who have risen to the challenge of working for a community, those who work in this government, despite the fact that so many will never know your name, they appreciate the work you do and rest easy at night knowing you do it. I'm grateful to each and every county employee for their dedicated service.
overseeing this workforce is a group of talented and passionate individuals who ensure each department, division, and office work to maximize efficiency and effectiveness. To these department heads, men and women who took on the challenge, I thank you for your unwavering duty. But it could be said that everyone, everyone in this room, and quite frankly, everyone in every corner of Duchess, have for years believed in a shared vision for our community. And while those conceptions have at times varied greatly, depending on our individual passions, goals, aspirations, and politics, we've all laid claim to one indelible commitment to make a difference. Now, I too know well that my time here should be judged not only for the successes, but also for the missteps. Those are mine and mine alone. But what I hope might be remembered is that we were not afraid to make mistakes. For what it was in those moments that we tested our solutions, pushed our limits, fell, but lifted ourselves and carried on. From the day I took office in January 2012, <coughs> your faith has inspired me, and it has been my humble hope that I've done good and made you proud. The Dutchess County is a better place to live, work, and raise a family now than it was when I undertook this partnership 11 years ago. Today, though, is not a day to dwell on the past. Uh, it is an opportunity to look toward the future. The dusk of one day makes way to the break of a new and glorious morning. And while saying goodbye is one of the <coughs> solemn duties of an elected official, it is still so very difficult. Why? Uh, because I love this job. I love this job and I truly love all of you so very much. But I couldn't be happier that my trusted friend and longtime Deputy County Executive Bill O'Neill will assume this role. Bill's decades of experience and passion will, for this community will serve you well. And I know in the coming year he will continue to work, <coughs> he will continue our work, uh, but also work to leave his own lasting legacy. And to my partners in government, thank you. Mayors and supervisors, many of you here. County Comptroller Robin Lois, District Attorney Bill Brady, Sheriff Kirk Imperati, and boy, does that sound good. <laughs> County Clerk Brad Kendall, thank you for your partnership and your friendship. It has truly been the honor of my life to serve the residents of Dutchess County alongside of each of you. Please continue striving to improve the lives of those who call this amazing county home. And to my friend Chairman Greg Holbrook and the leadership and members of the Dutchess County Legislature, please. Meet each other honestly and earnestly. Remember, it's not the government's money, it's the taxpayers. Do good and treat each other well. But do not let the moments to collaborate in the service of our treasured community pass you by. I thank you for your service and work to improve the quality and character of this community. In the matter of uh, just a few days, uh, I assume a new role, uh, one with challenges and ripe with opportunities. But please know that I take you, all of you, and the lessons we've learned together with me. Though I leave this place, this place will never leave me. I thank you all.
for the opportunity of a lifetime, the chance to serve you, the responsibility to lead, and the opportunity to learn. I hope it might be said of our time together that we didn't serve to make a point. We served to make a difference. And in that, my friends, we did it. We made a difference. What we have built together will last for generations to come. We made Dutchess County stronger and safer. We made her more caring and secure. And we leave this community, which I love, in good hands. And so, may God bless you. May he continue to bless Dutchess County. And may he bless the United States of America. Thank you. appreciation the Dutchess County Legislature as chairman of the Dutchess County Legislature excuse me County Legislature I hereby officially proclaim I don't know if I can do this but it's not <laughs> so we're gonna go with it that's the secret to success <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I think it is um, I hereby officially proclaim Marcus J Molinaro Day December 16th 2022 in recognition of his decades spent as county executive, service in our county legislature, and lifelong dedication to the betterment of Dutchess County, our county owes a heartfelt thanks to Executive Molinaro for his work on our behalf, and we hereby set aside this day as a memorial to the lengthy service he has rendered to all our residents. May his record stand as an example to those who follow in Dutchess County Public Service.